What's going on YouTube? Welcome to Genshin Impact. This is the newest update to Genshin, which is called Sumeru. They added a brand new quest line, they added a brand new Archon quest line, a Ward quest line, they added new characters, a new map, a new content. You finally got something to do in Genshin Impact. If you are an old player, you finished the game, you got nothing to do. But if you are a brand new player, this is some huge news for you and also for like the returning players. Now here, we used to have these like three areas here. This is the starting area, it's called Mondstadt the Lulwe. And if we scroll down, this is the Japan area, it's called Narukami Iceland. And that was all the content that we have until they added Sumeru. Sumeru is pretty big as you can see here. This is not the finished product of Sumeru. This is the part one of the story of Sumeru. And we already know about the desert area right here and the king of desert. So there is a huge area right there. And I'm guessing there will be another area right here. We are not really sure what's gonna be the theme, but if I have to guess, water area right here. I don't know, like a water theme Sumeru area. But anyway, what do I think about Sumeru? Pretty awesome. Now, I've been putting a lot of hours into it. I already finished the main Archon quest line here. And the word quest, there is a lot of word quest right here for you to con to complete and earn rewards and every single quest will gonna reward you, you know with primo gems which is of course primo gems are you know the most valuable thing that you can obtain into Genshin Impact if that make any sense as far as the new event goes it's pretty fun you can actually buy primo gems right here and some crown of insight that we have here the test run, then you can try the brand new 5 star character Tinari. Tinari is pretty awesome, I love him already. Of course we got John Lee here returning. I'm not sure if his name is John Lee or not. Like John Cena. We got here Kali. Kali is pretty awesome. You get her for free if you played this event. They give us a free 4 star. But sadly she's not that powerful, like she's not meta but at the same time, she's fun to play. And this is also a brand new chapter here, Tinari story chapter, which is pretty awesome, I would say. Brand new bosses here. And of course, we have this here. These are the brand new stuff here. What do I think of it? I literally cannot stop playing Sumeru. Now, of course, all of this could be the honeymoon phase, you know. I'm basically enjoying the game a little bit too much. You know, the music is very relaxing, I'm loving the music, I'm loving the open world, I'm loving the city, the NPC, the quest line, everything is just is so amazing. I can't really nitpick anything wrong with Sumeru. Like, if there's one complaint that I could do, the side quest, maybe they are a little bit boring if I had to complain, or maybe like the puzzles, the puzzles are not very explained well on like the description here. So you have to go into YouTube and watch a tutorial on how to proceed into this quest line because you know sometimes it could be confusing. We know if you play Genshin Impact then you know Primo Gems are king on this game. You're going to need a lot of Primo Gems in order to get really good 5 stars. As you can see here I'm in pain right now. I don't have a lot of characters here, there's only one 5 star here. I did a reroll account, if you want to watch it, then I would recommend you go and watch my oldest video. So if I didn't reroll, I probably would not gonna have any 5 stars. That was my thoughts and feelings and expectations into Sumeru. Do I recommend you playing Sumeru? This is not sponsored. Miholo did not give me any money. This is absolutely my own opinion. Yes. I do recommend you playing Genshin Impact Sumeru. It's a pretty good fun. Let's just say that you completed the event, you completed all of quests and stuff like that. There is also the RPG aspects of this game. You always want to level up your characters. You always want to achieve the next goal. Here I'm trying to collect these stuffs. You know, I'm trying to push through the levels. I'm trying to get the next upgrade and see your characters grows and stuff like that. 
Honestly speak, it's been a lot of fun. I like Sumeru. The new characters are pretty dope. I want to get Inari. I don't have enough Primo gems. I'm, I'm kind of broke, you know. There's really like not much that I could do. Anyway, like the new characters, like the new Dentro things. It's it's pretty amazing, honestly. Look at that. Look look at the damage, dude. I wish I could do this amount of damage. Okay, so that was everything from me. Let me know what do you think of Genshin Impact, the newest update, Sumeru, the new characters, the new map, everything down in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching, as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.